The most frequent question for ground investigation is, how deep is the rock? Construction projects need to know the depth of rock under the footprint of a development. Geotechnical engineers want to know the top of the rock elevation for foundation design or excavation planning. Quarry managers need to plan ahead to see what reserve of rock is under their land. When trenching for pipelines or cables, it is important to know where to expect the top of rock and design the trench accordingly. The depth to rock is important for the stability of slopes, embankments and quarry faces. Seismic refraction is the day-to-day -day workhorse in Ireland to measure the depth of rock. Other geophysical methods may be used in addition to where unusual ground conditions demand an alternative method. The survey can be done on land or in shallow inland or coastal waters. Seismic refraction is carried out by creating a seismic wave and then recording the refracted wave by geophone sensors. Several seismic sources are used in Ireland for depth to rock studies. Raw seismic data consists of mainly squiggly waveforms. The arrival times are picked and a ground model with geological layers and seismic velocities is developed. This cross-section shows overburden and rock. The depth to rock is the same as the overburden thickness. When we survey in the ground surface, as a result we will also know the elevation of the top of rock and the elevation of the base of the overburden. Continuous survey lines for pipeline routes can have a length of many kilometres running along roads or through fields. Where trenching may encounter rock, it is much more difficult to excavate. A rapid assessment with seismic refraction along the route shows the areas where rock is above the future pipe and within the trenching depth. Parallel survey lines for a site development can be combined in a 3D database and contour display to show the zones of shallow and deep rock. The data is compiled into an XYZ file to use in civil 3D or similar software application. Engineers can easily make cut and fill computations for rock and overburden excavation volumes. The fundamental investigation is always the same. First, carry out geophysics with good coverage and then add some targeted drilling or trial pitting. Mm -hmm.